All right, so I've been meaning to do this video for a while, just talking about the Olive Video Editor, because I've been using Caden Live for a long time, and I recently switched over to using Olive, and I said I was gonna do a video on it um, a bit ago, and I just haven't done it, not for any particular reason, I just haven't done it. So it's about time. I absolutely love it. Now, here's one thing I will say. As far as I know, um, if you're used to using Caden Live, a lot of the um, like rendering issues and stuff that you know plague Caden Live also apply to Olive as well. But in my personal opinion, I I have had a much much more usable experience using Olive. It's much more simple and straightforward because I don't do very advanced editing. So I do some zoom in, zoom out. It's like, you know, some scaling and changing the position. And yeah, that's about it. Like some cuts, like, you know, I don't, I don't have a whole bunch of like, you know, flashing like banners coming in, cr crazy stuff, which you can do here in Olive, which is not a problem. But for my needs, I, I have some very simple needs and um, Olive works great. And one of the things that I will say about Caden Live, if you're like me and you're an art user and you aren't familiar with Arch and Caden Live, when you try to install Caden Live on Arch, it's actually pretty difficult to get the dark theme installed. Like if you just install the Caden Live package on Arch out of the box, um, as long as it hasn't changed, which I mean, it hasn't been that long since I ha used Caden Live, so it should still be the same, but you don't get a dark theme. Like you have to actually like do a little bit of digging to figure out how to get a dark theme. You know, like the Breeze Dark, I think is what it's called, but installed for Caden Live. Here in Olive, as far as I know, I haven't even poked around because I don't want to know because why? But as far as I know, there's not even a light theme. It just comes dark, which is awesome. So the UI is out of the box, much better, much better than Caden Live. I'll go ahead and walk you through how to actually use it. So let's just say we want to open a project, get started. Actually, let's just create a new one. So we've got, you know, Olive open. We'll want to import um, some, you know, video to work with, which I will just import. I started to do this super tux cart video, which is not gonna get made because I recorded it here on this laptop. And um, well, this laptop can't play a game and record with OBS at the same time. It just, just can't. I tried to make a video out of it and I just, no, it's just, it's not good. So what you'll need to do as well as import whatever files you want to make your video, you'll want to create a new sequence. And here I'm using the 1080p preset and I'm just going to change the frame rate to 30 FPS because that's what I record in. And then just click create. Um, you can change the other settings, but for me, they work just fine and that's what I need. And so now that we've got our sequence created, you'll see you can, you'll have the area populate down here where you can drag it in and you can just drag in your clip and start, you know, cutting, pasting, stuff like that. So first things first, I will just go ahead and say, if you wanted to start stacking them, it's, it's very simple, very straightforward, not complicated whatsoever. Um, and delete you can just select something delete it let's go through some of the key bindings so you can press x and this right here is your like little select tool but to be honest i don't ever use really use that v is the like mouse pointer the your your regular you know select and drag and stuff like that and also i will say the playhead here is it's not perfect um, let me go ahead and mute that so I don't have any more sound coming out of there. But anyway, um, it's not perfect when you're scrubbing through um, the timeline. Like it won't, it doesn't, like, I mean, if you're scrolling pretty fast, it's not going to keep up extremely well. Although I will say it's better than Caden Live. And once you start playing, it's instantly going to start working. It's not like, 
I haven't had any problems with it, you know, acting weird or audio like mismatching or anything like that. The only thing I will say is I did make a video. I will try and make sure and throw up a card right now. Um, but I made a video on a small bug that I came across and um, it, I believe I was told in the comments that it's been fixed in the new version of Olive, but that new version is not the new stable version. Um, so it's actually like a testing release. It, it will be fixed, but I just recommend that video just in case you want to make sure you have a quick fix for that when that bug happens and know how to get around it. And don't freak out and think you're going to lose your project like I did. Definitely watch it. Yeah, yeah, that's really the only bug that I've really come, come across. But the other like short, you know, thing that you're going to be doing a lot is cutting. So you can just press C and you'll get this little razor tool and you can just cut there. And like, let's say we just wanted to cut out that little space uh, V to go back and then we can click on it. Just press delete and, you know, snap it back there. It is extremely simple. Then you can go down here to this little button here. This is your transition tool and we can get cross dissolves, linear fades. Let's just say we wanted to cross dissolve, click here and drag out. Um, very, very simple and straightforward. That's one of the things I will give all it all of a lot of credit for, um, even though it's not um, an advanced you know, video editor, it is, I mean, I, as far as I know, this is a, um, this project's very much in its not, I wouldn't say infancy, but in its toddlership, I guess, you know, it's in, it's in its toddler phase. So it's, it's a very well thought out and well designed program. Um, and it's, it's very easy to get into as a new user. And I really do appreciate that. Um, whenever it comes to any software, like it, there are times and places to have an advanced piece of software, but I feel like if, in video editing, yeah, you can make it really complicated, but you're go once you're working on a video and you want to do multiple things, those multiple things that you're doing are actually very simple tasks that you want to do. You just want to do a ton of very simple tasks. So I like that everything's simple. It's, e it's easy to understand. I like that cutting is C. That just makes sense. I very much like that. Um, v being uh, this select or pointer tool uh, does does not make much sense, but you know, eh, is what it is. But then you can go down here, like let's say you wanted to add a title, you can go down here and click title. And you know, there are other things that you can add in, but you can go up here and just start dragging and add in a title, however long you'd like to make it. And then when you select on it, um, you'll be able to go in here and edit the text. Like let's say I wanted to add, um, hello world and we could change the uh, font and you will want to make sure that you select the text and then do that or else it's not going to take because trust me I've done that a few times so um, just pay attention um, might might just save you a few seconds there you're welcome yeah, because I'm, I'm so kind saving you seconds. So you can turn up the font size. And again, so I don't know if you're anything like me, but I didn't tr necessarily try this, but um, I did I did appreciate that whatever tutorial I found or watched or listened to or read um, specified that you do need to change the font size in there because uh, the first time when I was just poking around in the editor, I actually didn't even see that in there. Um, so I was actually confused. I spent a few seconds down here looking for where the text size was. And then luckily I clicked back in here and saw it. So yeah, you can change your font size there. And uh, we'll click on here and you can see um, it's here. Because you definitely don't want to try and do the scaling crap to, um, to your title. Because that's just going to make it blurry. So definitely don't want to do that. Let's set it back to a, a not to zero, a uh, hundred. Yeah. All right. And then um, you can, you know, obviously change its position with position. Wow. I'm super informative. 
but yeah, so I, I'm really not going to dive super deep in here, but this is Olive. It is a absolutely fantastic video editor. Highly recommend it. If it, as, as long as you're not doing super complex things. To be honest, if you're looking for a video editor and you're you know switching over to Linux and you're new, but you're also looking to do like some you know vid videography work, like you're gonna definitely be interested in color grading stuff like that. DaVinci Resolve is the way to go. Check out DaVinci Resolve. Plenty of people be like, well, DaVinci Re Resolve is not a free and open source software, don't use it. If you're looking for a professional video editor with a lot of features, especially their color grading is top notch. You definitely need to check out DaVinci Resolve. Even if you haven't ever checked out DaVinci Resolve, but you're looking to do more advanced things with your videos, Definitely give it a give it a look. DaVinci Resolve can be hard to work uh, get working uh, on Linux. I think it's with Intel graphics. It doesn't work, um, but I know with AMD graphics, it's just it takes quite a bit of work to get it working. Um, Nvidia is the one where it just snap right out of the box works. But um, yeah, definitely give it a check because I mean I'm sure most of you guys got in video cards. But if you're looking for advanced things, check out DaVinci Resolve. But if you're used to using Caden Live and you're just looking for something like it, but possibly a little bit better, I think you definitely need to check out Olive. In my opinion, and now, now again, opinions are objective and don't get upset because I have a different opinion than you. You're more than welcome to your opinion and it's totally okay for us to disagree. But in my humble, almost non-worthy opinion, Olive's better. It's just better than Cade Live. I just prefer it. So yeah, tell me what you guys think of Olive versus Caden Live down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, if it got, you know, if it piqued your interest in Olive, if this was informative, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button because I, you know, post videos like every day. I actually also live stream today. So if you want to catch them too, you definitely need to be subscribed. Hit that bell notification icon. So YouTube lets you know when I go live and post videos. And if you want to support me and help keep the lights on around here and me making slowly getting better and better videos, I am about to get the DSLR mic and, you know, up some, some quality in the videos. So definitely might want to help me out so check me out over on odyssey and lbry link will be down in the description below it's a fantastic platform you actually get rewarded in the cryptocurrency that the platform's based off of for doing stuff watching videos that kind of thing and you can give it to your favorite content creators over there and every lbc i get is very much appreciated it helps and it makes me feel good so thank you very much i'll see you in the next one peace